holy people, great people, victorious people, I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to give God another um, another uh, thanks to the Almighty God for making it possible for us to be alive today. I want to let you to know and to understand that it is because of the Lord mercy that we are not on Zoom. We actually bless the name of the Lord, how he has kept us alive spiritually, mentally, physically, mm-hmm. socially, and otherwise. We bless the name of the Lord for all his benefits and his faithfulness towards his word in our lives. And I pray as we come and gather in this platform every Thursday and also every Saturday, my prayer is that the wonders of God will never stop in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please, when we come to the meeting on this platform, we will always encourage people to come with their Bible. And also, because the Word of God is powerful. This evening, we are going to examine the Scripture together and look at what the Word of God said about his faithfulness to his word, promises of God. That when we stand on those promises, the Lord offer our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's open our Bible. So Isaiah. 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 Chapter 55, Isaiah, chapter 55, let somebody help us to read from verse uh, 18 up to the verse 12. From verse 10 or to the verse 12. Amen. Amen. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the flower and bread to the ear. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and hills shall break forth before you in singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Thank you so much. I want you to hold this verse with your right hand. Meditate on this verse. Because we are going to join another scripture with this personal scripture. So shall my word be. So shall my word be. A great fault. Out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. You don't understand this. The Lord is telling us this, that His promises cannot fail. Mm-hmm. That every promise He has given to us, 
as we stand on those promises, we remind him of those promises. And we promises. He said, it will not return back void. That word he has spoken. That word he has given. The word of prosperity. The word of dominion. And the word of power. The word of God. He said that word will not return back unto him. Let's, let's join the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. My sister, you can please help us to read that. Amen. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing the center of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Ah, praise God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. The Word of God is weak, is sharp, is powerful. The Word is quick, is sharp, and is powerful. Yet the Lord is making us understand once again that He has reverence in His Word, power in His Word, the word is his word. When you said it is written according to the word of God, when we ask God's promises, and we ask the Lord, this word, your word has said, you said no weapon that is formed against us that will prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against us, thou shalt, thou shalt condemn. This is in heritage of the servant of God. That word is power. That word will not return back void. That word will accomplish what, he has, what the Lord has sent it to accomplish already. When the Bible says, And the Lord shall deliver you from the hand of the terrible, that word is powerful. That word is great. There is all assurance you can depend on that word. When you stand on the word, I say, Father, your word said that you are going to redeem me from the hand of the terrible. You are going to deliver me from the hand of the terrible. Oh, Lord, according to your word. Lord, we accomplish that. The word is strong. The word is powerful. The word is great. Well, the Bible says, and I will break in pieces the gate yes. of ours. That is a powerful word. That is a great word. You understand? Those words that the Lord has spoken of his promises, it cannot change. It cannot fail. The word will come to pass. You, we, we, mm. When people, evil people gather to make plans and to mm. destroy your life, your family, remember, the Bible of say, take cancer together, it will not stand. Mm-hmm. Every cancer, any man, any woman, take against your life. Those cancer will not stand. Those Amen. cancer will not come to pass. Amen. We have promises that protect us as children of God. Mm-hmm. We have promises that back us up as people of God. <laughs> you shall serve the Lord thy God. And I will bless your water and your bread. And I will take sicknesses away from the midst of thee. That word is powerful. That word will not return back to God void. That word we accomplish. When you stand upon the word, you say, Father, your word said. Your word said. You will take sicknesses away. That word will come to pass. That word is powerful. That word will accomplish its divine purpose in your life. 
That is why the word of God is powerful. Sometimes people pray without putting the word. People pray without standing on the promises of God. People pray. They just pray all kinds of prayers. My brother, my sister, I want to encourage you. Know what God said in His Word. Read the Bible and stand on God's promises. They cannot fail. The God said your children will be the head and not the day. You put, you place your hand upon your children. You decree upon their lives. It is only called papas. You are the servant of God. As a child of God. You are the oracle of God. In fact, Jesus Christ said, you are God. A little God. You can command. And the word of God is powerful. The word of God is true against word. The sword is to cut. The sword is to massacre. You are the sword of the spirit. Remember, when Satan came to tempt the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus said, it is written. He came again. Jesus said, it is written. He came again. Jesus said, it is written. You must know the written word of God. You must know what God said about you. You must know the plan of God in your life. You must be aware of this. Amen. You, must, you, must, you, must, you must know it. And when you stand upon the word, he said, Behold, I give unto you power Amen. to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. You stand Amen. on that word. You decree on that word. You command. And the Lord will actually bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, the Lord will minister grace, will minister authority upon our lives. We are going to stand upon the world. And when I read any promises, for all the prayer points we are going to pray, please stand on those promises. Decree those promises. Pro proclaim those promises. Speak God's promises over your life. Are you hearing me? Yes. You speak God's promises over your life. You allow the Lord Himself to walk mightily in your life. You decree the promises of God. Goodness and mercy shall follow you. That is God's promises. He doesn't promise us sickness. No. He said goodness and mercy, not failure. He said goodness and mercy, not disappointment. He said goodness and mercy, not disease. It's a goodness and mercy. Favor will follow you. Demon will not follow you. Sickness will not follow you. Goodness and mercy will follow you all the days. Every blessed day. Every blessed day. Call with promises. All the days of your life. It shall be well with you. The Lord will actually lift you up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to, let's open our mouths. Let's appreciate God. Let's thank Him for another opportunity once again. The present our prayer to Him. Let's open our mouths. Let's bless Him. Let's bless Him. Let's magnify him. I want you to open your mouth and show appreciation to God. Let us pray. Let's talk to God in prayer. Almighty Father, I worship you. I glorify your name. I thank you, Lord, because my mouth is not filled to praise your name this evening. 
I thank you, Lord, because of my family. I thank you, Lord, because of my wife. I thank you, Lord, because of my children. I thank you, Lord, because of extended family. I thank you, Lord, because of all the in-laws who mighty Father, I glorify your name. Who think of me, I glorify your name. Mighty Father, I worship you. Oh, mighty Father, I worship you. Lord, 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 I worship you. Like on today, oh, Lord, with like on today. Oh Lord, I'm under God. Oh, it's like the glorious in holiness, faithful in places, doing wonderfully. Oh, yeah. Oh, mighty Father, I worship you. Lord, I glorify your name. I thank you, Lord, because of who you are. I thank you, Lord, because of your mercy upon me. If not, oh Lord, who am I? In the midst of this thing that is going on in the world, oh mighty Father, it is after your love, oh mighty Father, you are keeping me. And I'm still carrying the the honor. Because <laughs> Let your name be glorified. Christ, the Father, I praise you. 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 Father, I praise you
you. Restoration. Jesus, we appreciate you. Jesus, we worship you. And the Savior of the world, and he shall be for the soul. And he shall take his feet from their sin. Jesus, we acknowledge your presence in our life. We hold I am with you always. But Jesus, we appreciate you, O Lord. Appreciate your power. Ancient of days. What can we say about the Holy Ghost? The word that we can do for our life. Holy Ghost, we worship you. To those children, they are making us in the background. I know they are praying, they are praying, they are praying. Let's control them, let's control them because what we are saying now is going to record. Let's control them, and the Lord will give us victory in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God. God has been so good to every one of us. We thank God. His promises never leave, left us alone, He's always there. This time around, we are going to pray. We are going to commit ourselves into the hands of the Lord. We are going to pray that God, look at my life. Look at my life. In any way. The Bible says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Let's pray. Please, for the breath of Jesus upon our soul, upon our heart, let us all pray that God will reign. His righteousness, His holiness upon our lives, that God will help us to follow hard after holiness of life, after righteousness of life, and God will establish us more and more in His perfect will and also in His righteousness. Let's ask the Lord to reign righteousness in our life. You are the righteousness of God. Let's pray for that righteousness to, to reign in our life. Let's pray for that righteousness. The Bible says, the righteousness shall that be established. And oppression shall be far away from thee. Let's ask the righteousness of God upon our lives. Let it establish us in righteousness. Let righteousness be in our life. Let the righteousness be in our life. The righteousness shall be in our life. our life. Make your glory in our life. The words that have gone out of my mouth will not return back void, but it will accomplish that it will please, and it will prosper in the things I send it. The Bible says, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Brethren, every blessed day come with benefits. Every glorious day Come with blessing. Every blessed day, come with favor. There is no day without the favor of God. There is no day without the mercy of God. Every good day, every day, come with a lot of goodies. 
blessing, benefit from God. And he said, goodness and mercy, not demon, not sickness, not accident, not calamity, goodness and favor. You are going to pray the word of God in your life. According to the word of God, you are going to pray. Oh Lord, let every day be favor, goodness and mercy to follow me, to follow my household. Every blessed day of my life, according to your word. Open your mouth and pray. The word is powerful, and the word is to a just word. When we stand upon the word of God, when we pray and we stand upon the word, I want to tell you that word we both great. And that word will prevail. And that word will penetrate. And that is why we are praying. The Bible says, yes, this is this. If I give you another prayer praise. The Bible says, if they don't pass you. When a strong man comes, he paid his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than him shall come upon him and overcome him, he take it from him all this armor wherewith he trusted and he divided his poor. Strong man in your life. That strong man I forgive we. Strong man that is, that is, that is blocking your sadness of blessing. Strong man that is blocking your sadness of favor. Strong man that is blocking your sadness. You are going to pray. Every strong man that is blocking your sadness of blessing. You are going to bind the strong man and cast him out before your family. 
Hope your mouth and pray. Oh, mighty Father, I call upon your name by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 Jesus
upon my tongue. I consume them. Jesus name we pray. Amen. When we talk about evil hands, evil hands have different dimensions. So we stretch for their hand against the, their victim, and they will utter evil statements upon their lives. So we stretch for their hand against their opponents, and they will give possible decree upon their lives. And the Bible says, and I will deliver you from such people harm. Let me remind you something about Jeroba. The Bible says, and behold, there came a man of God out of Judah, by the word of the Lord unto Bethel. And Jeroba stood by the altar to burn incense. And he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord and said, O altar, Altars, thus says the Lord, Behold, a child shall born into the house of David, Josiah by name, and a poor peace shall he offer the praise of the eyes that is born instead upon thee, and men's bones shall be born upon thee. And he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is the sign which the Lord has spoken. Behold, the altar shall be red, and the arches that are upon it shall be poured out. And it came to pass, when the king Jeroboam had the king of the man of God, put he have cried against the altar of Bethel, that he put forth his hand from the altar, saying, they hold on him, and his hand which he put forth against him dry up. You are going to pray. Every evil hand that has stretched forth their hand against you and your family, you are going to command those hands to dry up. <laughs> Open your mouth and pray. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
true for me. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You will not put me to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. You will fight on my behalf. Lord, 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 you will fight on my behalf. Oh, mighty Father, you will fight on my behalf. King of me, you will fight on my behalf. All things that stand against the will of the Lord in my life. All things that stand against the prophetic hand of the Lord in my life. All things that stand against the spiritual growth in my life. King of me, and pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, you will find for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Father, as I'm moving forward in my life, you will be with me in the name of Jesus Christ. Your presence will follow me in the name of Jesus Christ. Your grace will follow me in the name of Jesus Christ. All the grace I need in all steps of my life. Father, I hear we are paid by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You are raining them upon me now in the name of Jesus Christ. We are just no way, O oh Lord. You will open way. Where everybody thinks the way has been closed, Lord, you will open way. And where everybody thinks there is no hope. King or king, you will open, you will give me hope. Almighty Father, you will establish my dream, you will establish my plan, you will establish all my dreams for your will, Almighty Father, for Almighty Father, for your grace to be upon my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all secret tears, King or King. Almighty Father, you turn into positive in the name of the secret. You will wipe away from my eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. You will turn into positive in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Please, uh, let's try to control those children at the background. Let's please control this noise at the background. And it seems like there's somebody phone. That is echoing somebody that is re, I mean, repairing something. The person may just all his ears or her phone without joining the prayer. You can see. Okay. All right. You see that okay. the person That's... realize this and off the phone. If it's not joining the prayer, it's better that he or she off it than disturbing us. It's so, all right. We will, we will correct that on the platform after the prayer. What's that? Where's the Lord? Hallelujah. The Bible says, listen to me. I want to reveal a secret to you about your life. Many people do not know that God has a plan for them. Many people. Little do they know that God has a plan for them. There are something that has been written about your life in heaven. Jesus Christ said, the Son of Man goes as it is written of him. The Son of Man go, goes as it is written. There are some things God has written down about your life. And you must walk and fall into that destiny. What God has been written about you. The plan of God for your life. The Son of Man, go forth as it is written of Him. You are going to pray. He said in His word, in the volume of thy book, it is written of me, O Lord, to do your will. So there are some things that God has written down about your own life. In heaven. And that is why prayer is very important. But the wicked, the enemy, we want to pervert that. The enemy, they want to stand against that written word of God about your life. That is why we are playing the ground, we are praying, and we are dismantling all the activities of the wicked. So the purpose of God in your life, you will step into destiny. Mm. The Son of Man, go it as it is written of him. You are going to pray. Oh Lord, what has been written concerning me and my household? Father, let it come to pass. Order my step. Order my step. Order my step. 
Let it come to pass in my life. What has been written concerning me in heaven? What has been written in, in, in the volume of your book? Oh God, you filled it. Establish it. Oh, we must pray. Whatever has been written concerning your life will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Let's call upon the Lord and let's ask the Lord and pray. In the volume of thy book, it is written of me to thy will. All what has been written about me. Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that they come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh, mighty Father, let me fulfill destiny. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, King of Kings, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Let me fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, 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 let me fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh, mighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Let me fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In all areas of my life, Father, I pray by, by the power and the the blood of Jesus Christ. All what was written about Jesus Christ was fulfilled. He was able to accomplish. Oh, my Father, what was all what has been written about you, about you, about Josiah, about you, about Josiah was fulfilled. They were able to accomplish their destiny. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. All what has been written about me, oh, my Father, without stress, oh Lord, I'm going to. Jesus name in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray. Okay, I'm going to fulfill destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's pray for the church in Delta Church over there in the United States. Let's commit the church into the hands of the Lord that the gate of hell will not prevail over the church. Mm. And all the members of that church over there, that branch over there, let's pray, God, we give them grace. God, we empower them. God, we strengthen them. God will revive them. Let's commit the church into the hands of God now. Father, we bring the Palabible Church of Charles into your hand. Oh, mighty Father, you are going to establish us more in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty Father, in the area of in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's pray for the church that God will increase the church. It will increase them in number. It will increase them in knowledge. It will increase them in understanding. It will increase them in love. Let's commit the members and the church and the and the people of God into the hands of God. Let's pray for them that God will increase them in every side. God will comfort them. God will increase them. God will increase them. Increase them in knowledge. Increase them. Let's pray that God will comfort them. Let's pray that God will comfort them. Let's pray into the hands of the Lord. Let's pray and ask the Lord for our brethren. They are our people. Let's pray for God to increase them. For God to increase them in every side. For God to give them Let's pray for the church this time around. Stay indoor, lock down this time around. The members will not backslide. Amen. Our members will not backslide. 
Mm. We don't see people not give it excuse of lockdown, stay at home. They will not give it as an excuse. The devil will not take an advantage to make it to backslide. Let's pray against every door of backsliding. Let's shut the door. Let's destroy the door. Let's pray God will uphold our member. They will not backslide. Open your mouth and pray for them. Oh, mighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. This is our member of the community. We are told that we pray for all the members of the following church. Go back to the blood of Jesus Christ. They will not back to the name of Jesus Christ. Give them the faith. Let's go back to the power. All the blood of the devil against their faith. We can engage in the council of Jesus Christ. We can engage in the name of Jesus Christ. We can engage in the name of Jesus Christ. We can engage in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for agents, mother, agents, men, agents, sisters, and women in the ministry over there. God will keep them alive. They will be strong. They will be strong. Let's Amen. pray that all of them will be in good health. Sicknesses Amen. will not be their loss. Disease Amen. will not be their portion. Let's pray for protect them from evil, from evil disease, evil, evil happening, evil. Let's pray that the protection of God will be upon their life 24-7. Open oh, your mouth and pray for them. Oh, my dear Father, we pray for all yes, the dead people in our midst. We pray for the power yes, and the blood of Jesus Christ, both on the prayer line, both on the prayer line. Oh, my dear Father, that are actually in the house. All of us, any member of any of our program, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you are going to be able to get from the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my dear Father, this is the situation in the country now. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are going to be able to get from the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. You will empower them with the love of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Your king be upon them. Your mighty hand will be upon them. I still love God that you know the answer. We pray. Amen. Let's pray that you know this time we are now. It's a crucial time. It's a time that people, the world globally, is looking for solution for this COVID-19 and this uh, uh, sickness that is out in, in, in town. Let's pray. As many doctors that have been affected, family that have been affected, let's pray God will heal them. God will take those sickness out of their life. Let's commit it to the hands of the Lord. Let's pray at last now. Let's pray for the Lord. 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 Let's pray Name of Jesus Christ. Whatever we make anybody on this platform to miss heaven. Whatever we make you to miss heaven, you and your household, you are going to pray, Oh God, Jesus, eat out of my life. Oh God, Jesus, eat out of my family. Oh God, when the trumpet we sound, Oh God, make me ready. Oh God, make prepare me. Oh God, make me ready. Commit yourself to the hands of the Lord right now. Oh, mighty Father, I pray by the
let's Jesus open our mouth, let's thank God, let's bless him. Let's Almighty worship Father, the name of the Lord. Either to the Lord has helped us. Open your mouth and thank him. Lord, of God, we are thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You made heaven and earth and everything there. Oh, Lord, my God, my Lord, we are your people, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, we have said that we have the final thing. We if Pastor Pastor Nasane is online. Can you please help us to run up, run up the prayer? I not, let me know. Please, before Pastor Nasane runs up, I want you to use this hour for the uh, for sacrifice. Uh, I mean, as an offering to the Lord. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. I know Pastor Ali always bother about time. Please just give me about five minutes, please. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord that God will enlarge this online ministry in Jesus' name. And your family, my family, will be the particular of the blessing here in Jesus' name. I want you to open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will enlarge this ministry of online prayer of the Father Bible Church of Charlotte. I want you to I want to I want to hear you praying. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. I can't hear you praying. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all my Father will enlighten you. By the power of many people that need to be joining us, and many people that need to be joining us, God will empower us, help them for the deliverance that many people need to be attended to. Jesus, we pray. Jesus, we pray. Jesus, we pray. As I call on, as I. So Lord, here in this minute, in this minute, we are very, very limited in number in the income. But God has been using us mightily to reach as many people as possible, especially those people who are not member of deeper life and not member of the society. I cannot be saying it online. Uh, I know what I mean. We will call upon the name of the Lord on our behalf, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will raise millionaire, God will raise millionaire among us, that we be sponsoring all our program here in Jesus' name. And God will use you, God will use me in the name of Jesus Christ. Please do not minimize God what God can do. I listened to one of our fathers that not said only yesterday, and I was telling. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to use me, God is going to use me. To extend this ministry, initially, all the of our life to other people in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to use me. God is going to use me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For some of us that we have people that we want to be inviting, don't forget that you have phone that can join two people together. Please, either from Nigeria, it is not going to be cost you more than five dollars to invite people that okay, I want you to join this prayer. Just join them. It's not going to be cost you more than five dollars. And many of us that we can support us financially, we have a lot of people that we need to be joining. When they are joining, when they see the power of the Lord, they will see that there's a power somewhere. There's no need to go somewhere. And as a result of that, they will be joining us. Please, as we are praying, let us take our step. And do not be fed up by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, Mama Eza uh, from the North Carolina is on the line. We have been doing this prayer for more than five years. And she, she has been joining us. Uh, and so I, I know where we are coming from. And as God is expanding the ministry, God will use you. God is going to use me in Jesus' name. For men, we are going to ask special prayer on Friday, two o'clock midnight of the of the uh, 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 of United States, uh, eight o'clock in Nigeria time. All of us are in lockdown. So we are and, and the, the 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 topic of the prayer shall be uh, shall be special relief from above. Uh, relief from above. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, 
all our debts, God is going to pay in Jesus' name. So, men, please, ready. All of you that can join any other person from Nigeria, John, there is not going to call you more than five dollars. And if you cannot do support us financially, that one does not mean you are you shouldn't join the at anything. Or that thing, that one does not disturb our hour of victory on the uh, uh, eight o'clock in the morning for general one. Eight o'clock in the morning for United States and uh, two o'clock in Nigeria. As we are doing all these things to bring uh, both financial and spiritual sanitation into the uh, yeah. into the life of people, God, God is going to help us in Jesus' name. And the grace of the Lord will continue to help us in Jesus' name. I'm very sorry. Amen. Okay, uh, we see. Uh, we are seeing the on time. So, Pastor Nathaniel, you can write off first. Father, we thank you for this very day of prayer. We thank you for gathering us together. We thank you for bringing us together. Thank you, Lord. We have prayed. We have committed ourselves to you. We have prayed for the Church of God. We have prayed for ourselves. We have prayed for the country at large. We have prayed for those that are sick. We have prayed that none of our members should, they, you know, they go into backsliding. Amen. Lord, all these all these prayers we have tabled before you. We are asking that you will give attention to them in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we are asking as we are always coming together, praying seeking your face, calling upon your name, all our gathering, all our prayers, none of them will be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. For our pastor whom you have used for us tonight, Lord, I pray you will give him more anointing, more auction, more power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Once again, we pray, Lord, as we all are gathering together like this, every Thursday, Saturdays, and other days of prayer, help us to gather together like this in heaven on the final day in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray, Father, as many families that are going through one or two, you know, troublous times, as many families that are going through difficulties right now, Lord, we pray you will arise and support them and be a helper unto them in Jesus' name. Amen. Have your way in our lives, O oh Lord. Amen. Lord, I pray for this uh, online prayer meeting. You will expand this prayer meeting in Jesus' name. Amen. Take this prayer around the globe, around the world. And this prayer will be seen, will be known, and the effect of this prayer will push or will bring more people to come to know you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, because we know we have answered. We commit all our children before you. Lord, I pray. These children that you have given unto us, they shall be for signs and for wonders in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed be thy holy name. Amen. Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you. Let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you. I love you all. Men, mm. let us meet tomorrow for death relief from above. Uh, in, in the middle of the night, United States in the morning in, uh, in Nigeria. Then on Saturday, please, 8 o'clock in United States, 2 o'clock in Nigeria. Invite people. God will help you as you are doing so in Jesus' name. And God will count you for good in Jesus' name. Thank you. I love you all. Good night. Thank you.